show you some short vlog here in United Kingdom. United Kingdom is known all over the world for its sports and literature, soccer, rugby, cricket, boxing, and golf were all even invented in the United Kingdom. And the United Kingdom has produced many notable writers including William Shakespeare, Charles Dickens, and Jane Austen. So before we start, I'm gonna show you the most popular food in the United Kingdom. This is the top 10 popular food in United Kingdom. First will be the cream tea. Second is fish and chips, roast dinner, English breakfast, fagots, cottage pie, cornish pasty, trifle, spotted dick, and bread and butter pudding. When it comes to the national food in United Kingdom, that will be the tikka masala as England's national dish. When you think of British food, you're you're probably thinking of stereotypes like mushy peas or bringers and mash. However, the folks across the fun overwhelmingly voted chicken tikka masala as England national dish. Get a masala and sugar. Stir in the tomato puree and chopped tomatoes. Blitz. So for the second part, I'm gonna show to you the most popular attraction here in United Kingdom. The most popular tourist attraction in United Kingdom is the Windsor Castle. Windsor Castle is a royal residence at Windsor in the English country of Berkshire. It is strongly associated with the English and succeeding British royal family and embodies almost a millennium of architectural history. Windsor Castle is the oldest and largest occupied castle in the world. It is open to visitors throughout the year. Windsor Castle was originally built by William and Conqueror in the de decade after the Norman Conquest of 1066. William established a defensive ring of moat and bailey castles around London. Each was a day's march about 20 miles or 32 kilometers from the city and from the next castle, allowing for easy uh, reinforcement in a, cri uh, in a crisis. Windsor Castle, one of this ring of fortification, was strategically important because of its proximity to both the River Thames, a key uh, medieval route into London, and Windsor uh, Forest, a royal hunting preserve previously used by the Saxon kings. <music> So for the third part, we are talking about the transportation in United Kingdom. Public transport in the United Kingdom takes on many forms. For longer journeys, the United Kingdom offers train, long-distance coaches, and airplanes. On the other hand, you can use buses, type bus. On the other hand, you can use bus and metro trams and taxis to cover shorter distance. The United Kingdom relies heavily on rail, road, and air cargo for its inland transportation of goods. Despite the large history of its rail industry, road pride became the leading mode of cargo transport in the country as privatization uh, did not boost rail pride. Road is the most popular method of transport in the United Kingdom. It is the most popular method of transport in the United Kingdom. Carrying over 90% of motorized passengers travel and 65% of domestic ride. The major motorways and trunk roads, many of which are dual carriageway, form the trunk network which links all cities and major towns. And now let's move on to hotel accommodation. Out of 100 hotel accommodation, I will show to you the Hotel Cavendish. 
located around a six-minute walk from Gotch Street. The four-star hotel Cavendish London offers 33 rooms with views of the garden. The famous British Museum is placed approximately a 10-minute walk away and Trafalgar Square is a 5-minute ride from this London hotel. The property is set in Bloomsbury with its uh, Gregorian squares and architecture, university colleges, and British Museum 4 kilometers from business venues like Tower of London and just near Russell Square. Cultural sites in the area are National Gallery or 1.8 kilometers and the Cle uh, Clever and Resourceful Welcome Collection Museum. Guests can easily get in touch with the history of London by, by visiting Buckingham Palace, located 25 minutes walk from the hotel. Hotel Cavendish is a situated only a short drive from Warren Street tube station, while Mary Laybone lies ne uh, nearly 18 minutes walk away. Let's talk about the language. English is spoken across the United Kingdom, but it's not the only native official language. Out of 65.1 million residents of England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern uh, Ireland, over 90% speak English. The United Kingdom is also tied to third list likely in Europe to speak a foreign language, with only 31% speaking at least two languages. The United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland is a country that any decent person loves to live. Also known as Britain, Great Britain or the UK, happiness. On these basis, we present the best of London. So that will be all for today's vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching.